Namaste. Welcome to Divine Energy Tarot. I'm Divine Energy. What's good? What's good? Okay. I have a message for Sagittarius. Y'all can't see me smiling, but I'm smiling like a motherfucker. All right, let me stop. Let me stop. Okay, what's good, y'all? I hope you're having a good day. Wherever you are, good night, wherever you are. Okay, create happiness each and every day, all right? Each and every moment that you can, all right? Everything is a gift. It's all a gift. Let me get more pumped up. Let me get more pumped up. <laughs> I feel like you're manifesting here. I got the Ten of Pentacles out here with the magician. The truth coming out also. Somebody could be lying, deceiving. You're backing out right now. All this shit coming to an end, stopping something right now. I think you're you're trying to figure out how to stop something. Maybe you felt like in the past you were uh, overlooking something. Whatever that was, it blocked you from getting what you desired. What is it that you desire? Excuse me. Could be possible uh, water signs, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Some sort of good news. Spirit is saying get active, stay active. Accept what's happened because it's happened for you, not to you. You're the blessed child. Forgive yourself. Letters S, T, and E. You're getting some sort of good news. Despite whatever deception that this was. Somebody tried to deceive you. Ooh, wealthy man. Somebody is coming towards you. I'm also getting, um, either you'll meet this person or become a wealthy man or woman. So you could be creating this on your own. And there could also, or there could also be a person coming towards you that's extremely wealthy. Trust the process. Whatever your experience is experiencing is a part of your journey. Okay? There's some sort of good news coming towards you. Maybe you feel like you have unrealistic expectations or someone else you feel like has that. Yeah, this person that was teaching you that is teaching you karmic lessons because they're your blessings. Release. Okay. This is about karma and dharma. Tandem. A lot of synchronicities. You could be somebody who's telepathic, very strong in the mind. There's a soul tie connection. What did you learn so far from this soul connection? Spirit wants to ask you that wants you to reflect on that perspective okay what is your perspective now that you have experienced this also very good time you know to journal track your progress see what's going on put everything on paper so you could kind of you know get the feel of what's going on here there may be something you discover after you get everything written out about the past and that'll help you move forward. Okay? You don't need to. Only thing you need to take from the past is the lessons. So that you can grow. Okay? Discovery of a new way, a new path. Didn't I say that? Didn't I say that? Discovery of a new path, a new way. Like, bruh. You're discovering a new path, a new way. Like, literally right now. Be in the now. Okay? Because you're learning from your old patterns how to create growth. And you recognize that this uncomfortable, the uncomfortability is actually where you thrive. You get to ascend. Ashe. You get to transcend. Ashe. Mm. This is powerful for you. Who message did I say this before? Seji? I don't know who messages this for. I just forgot just that fast. I forgot just that fast. Hold on. <sighs> if 
Sorry, this is for Sagittarius is what I'm getting. It doesn't have to be for Sagittarius, but it's what the sign that I'm going to name. <laughs> what I'm going to name this reading is going to be Sagittarius. Sagittarius in the present, nine of cups. <laughs> You're getting what you want, but it doesn't feel like what you want. It doesn't feel good for some odd reason. It's probably your perception. Trust the process. <clears throat> As you're growing, it's uncomfortable sometimes. You have to embrace that. Mm. Queen of Wands. It's like you're getting your confidence back because while you're experiencing the uncomfort, it's like, or the discomfort, it's like you're you're allowing it to make you stronger. Just period. Not weaker. You're you're taking the weakness and transcending it. Through love. Taking the fear and transcending it through love. Okay. This is powerful for you. Fuck. I love you, Seji. Um, <laughs> what else? Ooh, okay. Something in the future you feel like it's not worth fighting for. You feel like it took your power away. It's a specific soul tie that you feel like it took your power away, Sagittarius. Just period. You're definitely be moving on from that. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. Because mm -hmm. it took you out of alignment with your truth, whatever that was for you. Mm -hmm. It took you out of alignment to what is true to you, your heart desires. Anything that doesn't fall into fulfillment of that is not the truth. So it's always going to disagree or appear as opposition. 7 11. Okay. Ooh, there's a, there's a new offer here. Wealthy man or woman. I told you. Whenever I see that wealthy man or woman, there's always somebody better. A better option. Wealth is better. It's not just richness, it's wealth. Allow wealth to flow into your life, even in matters of romance. Hmm, powerful. That's what you're manifesting. That's what you're discovering of a new path. How to attract what it is you desire, the magician. I wouldn't be motherfucking surprised if they tell me that right now. Let's get the guides, angels, and ancestors messages for you here. Sagittarius being guided to pull from this deck here. Angels, ancestors, and guides. Show me what I need to see as it pertains to this reading only. Great teacher, magic guardian, unlocking your magic within. Ashe. Okay, didn't I tell you that? Trust your process. Ooh, you're a great teacher. Some of you guys are great teachers, great healers, great magicians, alchemists, magic guardian. You have a magic guardian that watches over you. Ooh. Ooh. How is she <laughs> Shira, huh? Stop playing. Don't play with her. Stop playing with her. Tell me no. Hermit, retreating and recharging. So you're retreating and recharging. You're getting in your hermit energy. Mmm, powerful. Mm hmm. What else, Holy Spirit? Tell me more. As it pertains to Sagittarius here, be willing to forgive ear chakras. You're receiving a lot of uh, messages, so notice them, the sounds, all of the things, they're the words from your external sources, right? Everything external to you, it's, it's coming from the messages from your mind. They're real answers to your prayers. Everything is like synchronistic. It's aligning it to tell you the messages that you need to hear, right? Connect with that, you know? Um... Journal that. Write it out, I feel like, you know. Another prompt, okay, here about journaling and tracking progress. Wow. 
warrior. Be fearless and stand strong, okay? You are a warrior. Stand strong and be fearless. Be graceful in your movement and action, okay? It's like being mindful. Definitely see you like being more mindful, being more aware. Tell me about the page of or the knight of cups. Ah. Tell me something else. Ah. So there's a new person that you're willing to or you're thinking about investing in. Your high your your spirit may not be in congruence. I'm getting dark work. There could be some sort of dark work with this wealthy man or woman. Hold on. Tell me more. Mm, Knight of Swords. Oh, God. Tell me more about this person. You're protected from this person. That's why I said stand your ground. Seven of Wands. It's like, if you see something, it's going to be a red flag for you moving forward. Because you've unlocked some magic within you. It's like certain things are no longer tolerated. You will no longer tolerate certain things. Just period from anyone. Yeah. Page of sword. Yeah. So just be aware of anybody trying to come in. Because this person is coming in like, you know, they're trying to, um, you see how I just said, they could be like real slithery, real slick, real charming. I'm getting a, a deceptive energy. This person could come in very spiritual, very aware, very awakened, very conscious. It could come in, in in that form, you know, in that energy. However, I'm I'm getting deception from this person and I'm seeing that you're going to notice that. You're going to recognize that right off top. And because you recognize that right off top, it's going to make it a no for you. It's going to be like, nah, I pass. Be fearless and stand strong because this person comes in with wealth and this is what you've been manifesting. But just because you're getting what it is you, you, you ask for doesn't mean it's really what you ask for until you really take a closer look. And that's what I'm seeing happens when the transformation of this relationship. You start to recognize certain patterns, certain things, old patterns, and they're repeating within this new connection is what I'm getting. You could be um, definitely on the high alert right now. It's like not wanting to show your hand. Yeah, justice. I promise you, if you stand strong when this person comes, there's something better that's coming. Tell me more about the justice. Because that's like you finally mastering and discovering a new way, a new path. Ace of Wands. Another person is coming in. I'm, I'm trying to tell you the Ace of Wands is another. Look at this tower. There's a breakup. There's a, there's a release, a surrender, a release. Yep, four cups, another fucking offer. Didn't I say that? This was all indicative of whether you learned your lesson from the last time. This new person could only come in if you learned your lesson, is what it's saying, Sagittarius. If you learned your lesson. If not, we have to continue to grow so that we can learn this lesson and overcome and stop repeating things, okay? So there's somebody, I remember I said earlier, there's somebody you're going to back out from. Backing out. Okay. Like I said, it's, it could be definitely somebody that you're going to meet who's who looks like, who appears like what you want. I feel like don't let your eyes fool you is what they're saying. Yeah. Okay. It's like releasing disappointment by choosing the wrong people. It's like you have a 1431, a protected energy all over you. So just period. Yep. <laughs> Where's your power? Look at that. And listening. And listening. Your power and influence is in the judgment. Listening to that wake up call. When your spirit tells you something, when you don't act on it, you didn't listen to the to the call. 1455. So because you're listening to the call, this is like you're attracting what it is you truly desire. Because sometimes you'll get what you think that you desire and really it's only what you thought. 
That's why you have to learn how to trust your true intuition because your heart is your guide. Your heart won't mislead you. Your heart doesn't go based off of things people show you or, or things people tell you or, or things of this world. Your heart has an undeni undeniable deep knowing what's what it's for, what's for you, and what is not for you, okay? And because of that, being graceful in movement and action, taking action when your spirit talks to you and guides you, Trust in the process. Yes, you get the what it was you were trying to manifest here in your present energy with the magician Ten of Pentacles. You don't just want stability. You want a partner that Sagittarius wants a partner that is not just stable financially, but stable emotionally, stable mentally, stable, you know, in multiple areas, 1607, because you learned that you you need a person who is well, who is whole. Okay, who is willing to stop old patterns so that they can create new ones. And this isn't based on things that you have of the world. These are qualities and characteristics that only you find them within. You only find them within. All right. And that's what a lot of people have fucked up. And excuse my language in the past. They thought that I had to acquire all of these things to be a good person or to look like I had something, right? And we're realizing that it wasn't never about all of the worldly things. It was always about what was within my character. And as Seji 17 gets closer to that, embracing that understanding and that process, yes, it takes you to your highest heights. Nothing's off limits for you here. Okay, even when the situation ate a cups in reverse, even when a situation presents itself like it's what you thought you needed, you'll always be guided to safety because you listened. And you won't need a huge army to come in and save you. You'll be able to save yourself. Trusting your process. This gives you a completion for the assignment of C Sagittarius. Hmm. Look at that. Queen of Cups. Changes your fate. Will of Fortune. Look at that. Four of Wands. You have nothing but celebrations coming up. Look at that. King of Pentacles and your outcome. You created your own security. Some of you guys were thinking like you needed a partner, Sagittarius. You're creating your own stability, your own happiness. And it's not based on this worldly shit. It's, excuse me. It's not based on the worldly things. So good job for seeing this person for who they are. Goes to you, you know. I feel like there's a soulmate connection that you will be attracting. You might not see this coming, Sagittarius, Seven of Pentacles to the Moon. You may not see this coming, but this is happening. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. This is definitely happening. This is because of the divine inner work you're doing. Yep, King of Swords. Thank you for that confirmation here, Holy Spirit. But I want to grab you, though, some good things that you can look forward to. What are the good things that Sagittarius can look forward to for this week? Unexpected income. They're not saying you're creating your own abundance. You're creating your own stability right now, Sagittarius. That's why right now something is coming good to you. Because it's like, if I can't have the stability with this person, then I want to create it for myself. Just period. I'm going to have that for myself. I'm going to create that for myself. It's like, forgive yourself. Go out and play. Have some fun. You deserve it. Trust your process. Tell me more for Sagittarius at this time. 
messages for Sagittarius at this time. Look at this. Walking away from poverty in reverse. Walking away from this wealthy man in reverse. Divine feminine. Mm -hmm. So this is definitely you walking away from this wealthy man or woman. Because it's something about this person. They could be like very dark. The card says dark worker. Them. It could be a group of them. That's utilizing some sort of dark work. This wealthy man. It's like it's hidden. People don't know this side of this person. What they actually do. Ear chakras. You could be receiving all type of messages to let you know like this person not right. But don't avoid that. <laughs> okay. What do the messages say? Write it out. So later on when you look back at it, you'll be like, see, I knew I was right. You see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Okay, the key. This person, I feel like they this person, this wealthy person, they're trying to present this money to you so that you can give away your gifts. They feel like they can steal your gifts or your powers by being with you intimately on some real shit. Real shit. And people do take people energy because it's a sacral chakra. And it's a, the chakra of creation. So this is everything that you are. In your sacral chakra. That's why it's so important. It is sacred. Your sacral chakra. The, the root word is sacral. Is sac. Which is sac sacred. <clears throat> look at this. Look, look, look. Oh, it fell out. Didn't I tell you? This wealthy man. Telling you. Trying to come in. Like they present themselves. Like they, they, they mean well. And they don't. Just period. Okay. This could even be somebody from your past. Some somebody that you let back in. I'm getting for some thief. Huh? Yeah. I'm trying to tell you. They try didn't I tell you they trying to steal something from you? 1214. 2214. They trying to steal this person trying to steal some shit from you, family. On some real shit. You could be somebody who's public or has like a public uh presence or some of some sort social media you know something like that let me get one more here for my sagittarius what are the good things tell me the good things what are the good things child you could have had a miscarriage with a child with somebody or something or there could have been like a moment where you thought like I'm getting you felt like for this person like some immaturity. What? Wow. Divine feminine. Expectation. Wedding. You had an expectation for this person, but none of it panned out. None of it worked out. Or will work out. If this hasn't happened already. Let's see what you'll be attracting in the future for Sagittarius. What will Sagittarius be attracting for the future? What are the things that Sagittarius can look forward to in the future? Making the effort, expressing your love, relaxation. I feel like you're heading into a life of stability and you'll really be able to kick your feet up, like for real. Tell me more for Sagittarius, what all the good things you can expect for Sagittarius. Being in the here and now and being present, I feel like that's another thing you're fixing within yourself, mending. I'm also hearing like fixing. You could be doing some spiritual work, like we call it fixing. <laughs> okay, between worlds, unfinished symphony. Yeah, so this could be somebody that you, this wealthy person could be like somebody that you, you're going back and forth with. You're deciding if I want to live a life of happiness. I may have to sacrifice some things in order to get to that. What can we expect? No place like home. When you leave, this person is going to realize there is no place like home. Because I feel like this person just isn't for you, you know? Yang in reverse. They're just not for you. Saggy, whoever this person is. I'm getting maybe you just wanted some attention. Maybe you just wanted, you know, 2455. But you know how to create your own peace. And you know that peace flows from within, not without. 
Yeah. Forgiving and learning. Definitely forgiving and learning. Playfulness. Yeah, just letting go. I can see that here for this reading for Sagittarius. You're just learning how to release something. It may be difficult for sure for you, Sagittarius, but I see you being able to let that go. You don't want nobody siphoning off of your energy. You don't want nobody taking from you. I feel like protect your sacral chakra. Do protection for your sacral chakra. Okay. Awesome. All right. Because I see, did see mending. And that card for me specifically, it means intuitively like fixing. Where I do like my rituals and, you know, I fix the situation. So I can see that for you too. Wanting to do that, Seji. Okay. Standing your truth. Be empowered by that. Don't waver. All right. That's what I got for you, Seji. I love you. Peace.